everybody. D Bravo 615 here. And today, let's play Soar Shadowrun Dragonfall. Where we last left off, I was about to get started on the Humanus mission. Where they're essentially the um, meta humanic equivalent of the KKK and um, we don't condone hate groups here on this channel they can all eat a big old fat dick as far as I'm concerned no race sex nationality is better than another one um, everyone on this blue and green ball deserves to be here just as much as the one next to them so uh love your brother and sister and shut the fuck up so anyway um that's enough of my soapboxing here today uh happy memorial day weekend to my uh american viewers my north american viewers uh we all know what the season's about um yeah, you know the the unknowing mass is gonna say uh beer and pizza and hot dogs no it's actually remembering um, the prices that were paid for us to have the freedoms that we do today and the sacrifices that were made and those lost. So uh, to all of you, uh, enjoy the time with your loved ones and your family. It is very well deserved. On my end, we're going to have the freedom of uh, killing fictitious characters in a role-playing type mathematical format. So. Oh, let's go. Okay. We already hit the phone booth. We already got information from there. We need to find a donor list. It's probably going to be somewhere in cyberspace. Kia's gatekeeper. Hello, gatekeeper. I did burp for that, but I muted it so you guys didn't hear it. I'm very sorry. It was very epic. You probably wouldn't have been very, very impressed by it. But I did also did not want to rupture your eardrums. A rough-looking dwarf with a fireblood build holds out his hand at your approach. Whoa there, beanpole. I don't know where you think you're headed, but you should turn around and go back the way you came. <laughs> I had so many ways to answer this, though. Let's see, I've got business on the other side of your barricade. One way or another, that's where I'm going. You want tw you want you want oh my god I'm about to pull a quick key here. You want twubble dwarf? Because unless you step out of my way, there that's where you're headed. I still like this one. Beanpole? Seriously? Didn't mean no offense, but look at me. He gestures at himself. Now look at you. Now look at me again. Now, compared to me, every human is just a beanpole. Ain't a bad thing. It's just the way it is. He crosses his arms over his barrel chest and cranes his neck to look you in the eye. Ah, yes. Us barrel-chested brethren have to stick together. Look, we're not trying to be hard asses here. Our job is to keep the folks on that side of the wall out. If you really want to head out there, we're not going to stop you. But consider this a friendly warning. There's a reason why we're stationed here. There are gangs out there that skin you alive as soon as look at you. All right, well, let's see. I trust me, I've gone up against worst. Well, then I'll just have to skin them first. Look, I don't have a choice. I need to get out of there. I need to get out there. If I don't, some punk gangs are going to be the least of my problems. Well, there's always me skinning them first. Well, you know. <clears throat> well, then. I'll just have to skin them first. My creepy, creepy, charismatic voice. He shrugs. All right, be my guest. Go play with the torture gangs. Something tells me you'd be a better fit out there anyway. <laughs> he gestures to the troll standing behind him. Let him by, Serge. Is that Sergey? Serge? 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 Okay, cool. I'll shut up now. Um, is it all of my my fetish wear? Is that what you're? Is that why you're saying that being the case? I don't know. He nods at you. Be careful out there. Well, thank you. Now, all of a sudden, with the uh, concern, let's go dumpster diving. Anything in here? No. Absolute Berlin. It's spelled like the vodka, though. So is that is that a booze or I don't know. Anyway, satin nest or scatin nest or shatin nest might be shatin nest. 
Is that supposed to be like shit nest? Is that what that's short for? Okay, can't go that way. There is a guy over there. I did see that guy with the yellow text bubble. We are going to talk to Mr. Yellow Text Bubble. Mr. Yellow Text Bubble, do you have anything for me? Or am I killing you? I might have to kill you. Maxim. The figure at the center of the group shoots you an insolent glance. His fine, elvish features match Samuel's description. This must be Maxim, your smuggler liaison. Oh, okay. Well, well, if it isn't the muscle that Tuck promised us. Look, look who it is, everybody. The new hires have elected to grace us with their presence. Nice of you to join us. He glances at the BD on his wrist, then looks back up at, back up at you. When he speaks again, his voice is sharp and humorless. You're late, chummer. I'm here. That's all that matters. Uh, drop the attitude, or you can roll into this meeting without me. Uh, as much as I want to be a dick, I mean, this guy, he is our liaison, so let's not be super dick. Yeah, sorry about that. I got held up at the wall. He lets out a theatrical sigh. Well, you've come highly recommended, so I suppose I'll overlook it. Uh, if we run into trouble, you'd be glad to have me around, I guarantee it. <laughs> Look, do you want to do this thing, or do you want to stand around talking about it? As you've already pointed out, we're running late. Shouldn't we get moving? Yes, of course. Right you are. He slaps the side of a bulldog step van. A second van of the same design rumbles to life a few feet away. Pile in, people, and be ready. There's rough country between us and the meeting site. We might run into the trouble along the way. All right, make contact with the smugglers. We did that. Game saved. 20 minutes later into your trip, the van comes to a screeching halt. Maxim presses his face to the passenger window. From the mix of anger and dread on his face, you can tell that he doesn't like what he sees. Damn it, I knew this was gonna happen. I fucking knew it. He cranes his neck around to look you in the eye. Everybody pile out of the van. Get ready. Team Bravo, we're gonna need some muscle in a second. As you take your position outside the van, you hear a shrill voice bark out in order. A pair of portable uh, a pair of portable gun turrets begins to self-calibrate in response. What the fuck? Sweeping your gaze over the anger as assembled before you, you identify the owner of the voice, a leathery woman with wild hair and a mirthless smile. Hey, she's from Florida. Must be Lee County. Um, she calls out again, her voice brimming with pride. Hello out there. Welcome to Rambok territory. Maxim licks his lips his eyes scanning over the ganger's hastily assembled roadblock. This key has belongs to Surf Turf Slag. Has for months. You better clear on out of your way. Clear, blah, 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 blah. You better clear on out of our way before they show up and force you out. Surf Turf? Those tunnel rats? They're ancient history. Go ahead and call them if you don't believe me. Her face twists into an ugly smile. Scream as loud as you want. They won't hear you. We buried them last week. Maxim expression turns stony, but his voice remains calm. Congratulations on your victory, but you must have taken some losses in the fight, though. I'm betting you're not 100%. Why don't you let us cross the bridge in peace? There's no need for any bloodshed today. You know what? You're absolutely right. We don't need to fight. You just pay us a small toll, and we'll be more than happy to let you cross our bridge. I'm thinking, say, 500 yen per van. That's steep. I'm not going to drop a grand on you, ho. That's not going to happen. Yes, I said ho. Deal with it. Her voice turns cold. Otherwise, you'd better find another way to get where you're going, because this bridge is ours, and nobody crosses without paying the toll. Nobody. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this does need to get violent. Maxim turns to you. Get ready to ventilate these assholes, Team Bravo. We've got a schedule to keep. Uh, <laughs> oh man, well, they can really, this could really go way out here. Okay, hold on here. Help the smugglers, don't worry, we got your back. Uh, let's see, attack everyone, change of plans, I'll be taking the shipment to cash for delivery and all of your lives. Whoa, that is totally chaotic evil, I love it. Uh, negotiate with the gangers. Look, let's be smart about this, nobody wants a firefight today. Hmm, do I want to negotiate? Should I try to negotiate, or should I just kind of go in and just rip and tear until it is done uh let's see schedule to keep i mean all right you know what let's try diplomacy so far so good we've kind of worked with a diplomacy thing you know look let's be smart about this nobody wants a firefight today 
Good. That's a real good idea, pal. The ganger boss jeers at Maxim. See that? Your muscle's smarter than you are. You should put him in charge. Maxim wheels around to face you, his face of mat his face a mask of fury. His voice explodes out in a harsh whisper. Quiet the fuck down. You don't speak for me, and you don't speak for this organization. Uh willpower. Steer maximum down. I know what I'm doing. Let me speak. Oh yeah. I got willpower, bitch. Maxim stares at you, bristling, but he holds his tongue. After a few seconds, he nods. Do it. But you better not fuck this up. Uh, Dietrich leans forward to whisper into your ear. His ubiquitous smile has disappeared. This is a waste of time, boss. Let me fry these sons of bitches so that we can get back on task. Uh, da, 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 da. Maxim steps back, leaving you to negotiate with the Rambok leader. The ganger boss stands there, hands on her hips, awaiting your response. Uh, no need for bloodshed. We pay you, you let us crawl. I am not dropping a thousand on you. If I had charisma five, it'd still it would be only seven fifty. Uh, I still wouldn't be. You know what? Nah, I got nothing. You got bullets. Well, then why the hell are you wasting our time? Fall back in line and get ready to fight. You can do that, can't you? Uh, I would uh, see. I just look like a dick now. If I I could have swore I had charisma level five. I guess I don't. Oh well. I turn off the the hell with this. I'm gonna put you all on the ground. <laughs> no, I, I don't need I don't need um, violence from both sides. All right, fine. Help us, mother. Yeah, we got you covered. He nods and draws a weapon. Good. Maxim voice comes out in a roar. Take him down, boys. Open fire. All righty. Optional. Keep Max alive. Oh, you broke his armor. Oh no, do you have... Okay, yeah, you do. You had two... You had two Zets. You missed. Oh, damn, you got a lot of you. Okay, so... What I need to do right now... Is let's key up, baby. And then... I'm gonna lay these hands on you. Ooh, there's, I just realized there's a, uh, those turrets are there. Let's not die today. Ooh, 30 damage. All right, so, I could haste you and kill you one time. I'm kind of out of the area, so I think I'll do that. I'm gonna haste myself. And then I'm going to hit you one more time and put you down. Because I don't feel like dealing with a mage. Uh, Glory is going to use her lovely adrenal pump that she has. Yes, let us pump the adrenals. Um, who to slash? Well, I can't really slash guns. Uh, what is? What are these? No, go back to that. A barrel. But it looks like is that explosive or is that toxic? I'm gonna vote it's explosive. I hope it's explosive. I'm gonna go for explosive. Let's aim our shot. Oh, I shouldn't have to aim my shot. It's a freaking drum. It's not gonna move. Nice. Now can I? She's behind cover. I almost killed her. All right, let's do a uh, another shot. Aim shot? Maybe? No. Okay, that would have been that would have been too amazing. That would have been too amazing. Okay, so we're here. Um. All righty. Where can I put you? I'm gonna put you here. Really? A bus stop gives me no cover? That is bullshit. Not a, but I bet you I can't shoot through one. All right. I really want to take her out. I don't think Max is going to be smart enough to go for her. All right. Um, so for now, let's just go for this dude over here. Can I not? Wait, is he on our team? 
He is on our team. Okay, good. So then, where can I get for cover? I guess there. Yeah, because I want to take out the turrets. Oh, do I have the thing? I do have the thing. Okay, uh... Control mode? Control a mode of... Ah! Choose a control... Uh, a mode of control for this drone. Control gives direct access to movement in combat. Hold will keep the drone stationary. Follow will have the drone... Follow the rigger. Okay, so... While I'm behind cover... I'm going to use the drone try to take out the chick, if I can. Setting the drone stance to control allows direct control at the cost of one AP per turn for the rigger while it is active. That's cool. I'm behind cover, so let's go. Uh, how many AP does the drone have? Two. Good. Let me get behind cover. And then... Let's... Let's see if we can get this chick. Yes! Down! Boss is dead. Ah! There's more! Take him out, guys! Come on! Do something! Why are you running around like- Oh, you're bad guys. You can run around all you want. I don't give a damn about you. No! Enough with the grenades! Here you go, Maxim. Do something. Alright, smugglers, do something. Why are you... I was gonna say, just... Running around like dumbasses. Okay, you guys take care of them. We'll take care of these guys. Alright, I'm gonna punch me a drone. Yeah, I'm gonna punch me a gun turret. Actually, wait a minute. Can I hack you? Is there hacking? Is there hacking enabled here? Can I be hacking? Is there hacking this? No, I don't see hacking. I don't see hacking. I just want to see if there was a hacking point, because I don't see a rigger. Just thugs. Alright then, let's just punch it. Um, I am going to punch you in your robotic face. I think it's hilarious that I can just walk up and punch a turret. <laughs> I love it. Uh, if I really wanted to, I could summon a spirit. Um, I don't think we're there yet. I don't think we're there yet. I don't think it's 100% necessary. I would like to take out this other thug and then concentrate on these guys over here. Let me use her for now, because I'm pretty sure, at least with her, I can go meet our friend down here. And kind of leave him open. I didn't mean to use that one. Oh well. Um, I only have two AP. Lame. I don't think I can hit you from here. I hit them. An aim throw, you say. A ganger enforcer, ganger conjurer. I might do the freaking summon the spirit just so they can't do anything. What do it here. Eighty percent that I hit both of you guys. Five percent that I hit all three of you. Uh, no, that's a dare. Eight percent. Go for it. There you go. Armor broken. Negative two AP. That guy ain't moving. Uh, let me. I was gonna say. Let me just go to the. What can this do? Target tat. Uh, taser. I can tase you. Sixty-five percent to tase you. Uh, I mean, 
Okay, at least he won't be moving, and then I can start concentrating up there. Yeah, we'll do that. If it works, it worked. All right. All right, so then, let me take cover over here. How? You shouldn't be able to summon a spirit. Ugh. Ah, oh my god. That's all right, you can kill them. They're not, they're not my team. Did you just throw a grenade at the two of us, you dick? Why are the smugglers not doing anything? Can you guys not fight? I want to know why the hell you grenaded glory, you dick for. Anyway, um, all right. I want this damn conjurer out. Let me take you out. Okay, good. That water spirit's gone. Um. I mean, I can just kill you just to take you out. And then we'll go up. I'll go back up there. I mean, you guys got to pull your own weight, though, because you're not really doing much in that regard. Seriously, though. You guys kind of suck. Just saying. Um, can I actually shoot any of you? I can. I got a 50... 59% hit rate. 60%. Aim shot. Alright, the enforcer's dead. Uh, let's move the drone. I only got two bad guys left. This guy and that guy all the way over there. Who knows? You guys might actually be able to, you know, help. Let's see if I can shoot you from here. can. 50-50. Okay, not bad. Uh, I guess I'll switch over to my AK. Get a little closer. Wait, I only hit you. Zero percent. I can't hit you from where I am. Let's try here. I have a 4% 4, <laughs> 4 chance to hit him. Let me just get closer. Let me just get closer. There we go. I'll go behind the van. Even though I'm not directly in cover, enough to be behind cover. And I'll just take cover behind the van. Alright. Alright, you guys need to do something with this guy too. You guys need to do something. Alright. Smuggler Mage. Oh, thank you for increasing my accuracy. Big preach on that. Alright. I'm gonna go kill you. Okay, you're dead. And no, I can't kill you from here. How about you? Can I hit you? I can't. Ooh. Straight shot. I got a trophy. Trophy earned. Um What do we got here? Bladed distraction does one AP damage, but reduces damage by three. No. I don't foresee you being able to move anyway, so oh, you know what? Let me nerve bolt you. Get nerve bolted. -ed. Get nerve bolted again. Now I'm gonna Wolverine your ass. Eviscerate. Yes, that sounds delicious. Alright, we kept Max alive. You're welcome, Max. Anything else here for us while we're here? Okay, I just wanted to be sure. 
Maxim wipes his face with a handkerchief. The cloth comes away wet with blood-streaked sweat. Well, that was unpleasant. All part of the job, though, eh? Uh, you tell me. You're the big-time smuggler. I'm mean, just your hired muscle, remember? <laughs> uh, you do kind of seem not professional. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I'll go with that one. Yeah, well, trust me, it happens. I'm just glad that I had you here to cover me. Always good to have a competent man at your back. Maxim pauses for a moment before continuing. I've got to admit, Team Bravo, this attack has made me nervous. We're running late, we're low on ammo, and there's no time to call for reinforcements. Whichever way you slice it, we won't be going into this meet at our best. When we roll up on the meeting site, be ready. We may need the element of surprise if negotiations go south. All right, you just worry about getting us paid. I can handle myself. Uh, good shooting back there, by the way. I agree. The ambush was more than a little. That ambush was more than a little convenient. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I won't go so far as I'm not gonna compliment you on hitting a glory with a grenade. You just kiss my hairy ass for that. So agreed. The ambush was more than a little convenient. He nods. Couldn't have said it better myself. All right, back in the van. Back in the van, man. All right. The courtyard of the Humanist compound is strangely quiet. The only activity that you notice is the clatter of the mechanized gates as they rumble shut behind the vans. The bulldogs roll to a stop. You step out alongside Maxim and the rest of the smugglers. There are crates here. A lot of crates. All scattered in various stages of disorganization. It looks as though your delivery is just one of the many that this branch of Humanist has received. The smugglers unload the cargo from their vans with practiced efficiency. The whole operation feels polished and professional, but you can tell that Maxim is nervous. You can see it in his eyes. The smugglers finish unloading the last of the crates, then take up positions around the van. Minutes pass. Nobody comes to meet you. No welcoming party. Maxim shakes his head. This, is not, this isn't a good sign. Alright, it's almost as if they didn't expect us to make it here. Huh. Well, then maybe I should go have a talk with them. <laughs> it's like, hey, excuse me. We have your delivery. We need you to sign. Um, yeah, it's almost as if they didn't expect us to make it. Uh, I mean, yes. Doesn't matter. They're going to have to deal with me whenever they want, <laughs> whether they want to or not. Um, yeah, it's almost as if they expect us to, you know, you know what? Well, then maybe I should go to have a talk with them. What are you going to do? Knock on the front door? What makes you think they'll even answer? They've done a pretty good job of avoiding us so far. Leave that to me, friend. Dietrich jerks a thumb in the direction of the Humanist compound. They'll have a hard time avoiding us when I'm in there t kicking down doors and lighting fires. His eyes widen. You've got to be kidding me. That's a Humanist compound, pal. You go in there, you aren't com going to come back out. <laughs> I'm your muscle. Dealing with a situation like this is part of the job description. <laughs> Humanists don't scare me. I've gone up against worse. Far worse. Alright, you know what? It's true. I have. His eyes widen. You're not hired muscle at all, are you? You're a shadow runner. You're on a job. Uh, that's right, but there's no reason why I can't help you out while I'm doing it. I'm surprised it took you this long to figure it out. I just want us to get paid, Maxim. Let me buy and I'll make that happen. That's right, but there's no reason why I can't help you out while I'm doing it. Oh, I guess he didn't know. Um, yeah, I guess he just didn't know. Let's see, am I going to have to kill you, Max? I really don't want to. I mean, I know you guys suck anyway, so even if I do, it wouldn't be too bad. Alright, there's no reason why I can't help you out while I'm doing it. You're serious, aren't you? You're really going in there. He takes a step back. Well, be my guest. I won't get in your way. When you make it back, if you make it back, we'll be out here waiting for you. Yeah, I had a feeling you weren't coming in with me. Chemicals. There's a warning label plastered onto the side of this container. Judging by the amount of small print on the label, there's that whatever is being stored in here is extremely bad news. All right, take a look at this label. Warning. Highly dangerous chemical agent. 
do not take internally. Avoid contact with skin, eyes, mouth, and clothing. Increases aggression and reduces impulse control when inhaled. Avoid breathing fumes or vapor. Important, do not proceed unless material safety data sheets has been read and understood. How is this thing on an MSDA sheet? I wonder. Okay. Uh, which way do I go? This way? I guess this way. This way? Excuse me. I'd like to talk to you about our Lord and Savior. Team Bravo. Alright, transition. You're about to transition to a new location. Continue. Hold on before I do. Let me see what else is out here. If anything else is out here. Some random ammo or uh, trauma kits, med kits. All right, fine. The Humanist compound smells like a locker room and doesn't look much better. Calling the building run down would be an understatement. Paint is peeling off of the cheap duraplast walls, and the tiles on the floor are mired with decades worth of grime. It's an old, ugly place, perfectly suited to the old, ugly ideology being practiced here. You enter the compound. The information that Samuel Beckenbauer sent you here to find lies somewhere ahead. All right, let's find... Hey! Scatter! Bunch of roaches. You hear the familiar clicking sound of an audio connection being established with your comm link. A few seconds later, a soothing voice begins speaking into your ear. Oh, you. Okay. Team Bravo, we have received reports that you may be headed into a Humanist compound. It is vital that their current leader remain unharmed. Other Humanist personnel are of little consequence. You may do with them what you will, but Volker Stahl is ours. Do not disappoint us. The connection cuts out. The voice in your ear is gone. All right. Really? We got to keep that penis like alive? Are you kidding me? Alright. Well, they went that way. There's a security camera over there. What's over here? Wood lockers, you say. Okay, what do we got? Gear! Uh... Damn it. These are locked. They're all locked. Son of a bitch. I want free stuff. Uh, come on, what do you beat? not locked. Any of you be not locked? Who locks their foot locker, honestly? I'm just I know, obviously. Military keeps their lockers nice and tight, but... Alright, well, that camera's right there, so I guess we're tripping it. Oh, well. Door panel. console consists of a text entry field and a virtual keypad written along the top of the screen and imposing font is the word armory. Oh yeah, I went in there. I definitely went in there. Let me see something real quick. Right. Hopefully the damn headphones don't die on me. Alright, stuff. We're exploring. A note, you say? What's on the note? There's a handwritten note sitting on the table. Hey, Capel. You come highly recommended. Anyone who did what you did to those elves will go far around here. You can hit the kitchen anytime, but otherwise stay close unless otherwise... But otherwise stay close unless otherwise told. How many times are you going to use the word otherwise? Your locker code is 2619, locker 3, Owen. Alright, well, you don't need what's in your locker anymore there, Capel. I, on the other hand, will be borrowing it. What locker was it again? Uh, locker 3, 2619. Uh, 2, 6, 1, 9. Give me your shit. The locker opens with a click. There is a note inside. Recruit Capel. Your enthusiasm at the rally was more than commendable. Those trog bastards really got what was coming to them. Volker wants to see you right away. His personal code is pride. Share this with no one. Alright. So we got a door code. That's not... I wanted stuff. Is this an office? No, it's the armory. Okay. We're just gonna open this door because... 
must generate a nice crossbreed breeze in here. Not crossbreed. None of that. Ooh. There's a turret there. Um. If I inspect this thing, is it going to kick my ass? I hope not. Alright, the, the turret is powered down. Oh man. I don't have drill con drone control. Leave the turret alone. Alright, alright. Just don't turn on me, turret. Humanus terminal. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, the Humanus Polycub logo fills the majority of the screen on this terminal. A welcome message written in cartoonishly aggressive font <laughs> appears below. Please log in to continue. Uh, get your Decker to hack the terminal. Operation account information. You gain access to a list of Humanus safe houses worth some new yen in the right hands. Okay, yay, pay data. What's over here? Uh, the Humanus Polyglub logo fills the majority of the screen. Terminal, welcome. Uh, Humanus forever. Please log in to begin. Go ahead. A list of newest batch of Humanus recruits scrolls onto the screen. All right. Uh, all right. Here's a latest group of recruits. Some of them are already showing signs of promise. Recruit 1, Anne Klein. Recruit 2, Egon Kappel. Recruit 3... Alexander Farber. Recruit 4, Frederick Bauer. Recruit 5, Shin Yamada. Recruit 6, Gernot Schumacher. Make sure they get assigned to their bunks in alphabetical order this time, Saeed. I, keep, I kept losing track of who was who in the last batch. As always, I'm changing the code for my office. The new code is PRIDE. Volker Stahl. You download a file containing the recruit's numeric key codes along with the door, do, door code to your PDA. Okay, recruit access codes. <gasps> Does that mean I have access code to your lockers now? That'd be nice. Humanus Poly Club is low majority of the screen on this terminal. A welcome message with a cartoonishly aggressive font again. Okay, come on, Blitz, hack it. After a few minutes of sifting through account sheets, you find what you're looking for. A complete donor list for the Berlin chapter of Humanus. Download the list. You download the list to your PDA. There are quite a few well-known names on here, including a billionaire philanthropist and a children's tritio show host. Oh, really? That's fucked up. File cabinet. All right, file cabinet is crammed full of humanist propaganda. All right, let's read the bullshit. Read the first pamphlet. Human, you work hard, you play hard, and still you can't get ahead. But why have you ever won? But have you ever wondered why? The answer is simple. The elf is using the orc and the troll as muscle against you. Think about it. When you turn on your tritio after a hard day's work, who do you see? The pampered elf, basking in the lap of luxury, squandering the money that you could be using to feed your children. When you walk through a dark alley on your way home from the market, what do you fear? The mongrel orc and the savage troll lying in wait to rob you of your hard-earned gains. The elf, the orc, the troll, all are parasites, leeching away your prosperity and happiness. It's time to wake up and do something about it. So what are you going to do, human? Support the Humanist Poly Club. Together, we shall show pride in what we are and defend ourselves from the jackals at our door. Humanist forever. Ah. Oh, God, we have more. That's right. Human, they say you can't get a job because of the economy, but you know the real reason. Meta-humans. The elf, with his pretty boy looks, takes the high-paid corporate desk job, rises to the top, and blocks the top positions forever. Never aging. Never retiring. The orc is willing to work for table scraps, driving the cost of labor down and depriving you of a decent wage. The troll takes all the manual labor jobs. That's right, not even the sweat of your own brow can earn you a living these days. Join Humanus and turn the tide on economic repression. Humanus forever. Uh, pamphlet three. Human! Have you under wonder... Have you... Oh my god, I swear to god I can read and write. Ever wonder why dwarf shops are all family run? Free labor. And whose businesses suffer? You guessed it. 
We, the humans, wind up paying in reduced sales and lost wages. Every day, another dwarf run store opens, and every time that happens, more dwarves flock to our neighborhoods, driving good, honest human business out. They say it's for community. They say it's for protection. But why can't they keep to their own neighborhoods? What are they hiding? Stand up for your people. Stand up for what's right. Join the Humanus Poly Club. Humanus forever. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, all racism is shit. All of it. Every single bit of it. Alright, I see... AC vent. I see multiple AC vents. Why is there so many AC vents? I'm pretty sure it's going to come back. All right, I have codes. Can I unlock these now that I have codes? Are they the right codes? I don't think they are. Let's see. Uh, yeah, apparently. I just don't know who's, who's, uh, God. Let's try, I guess one by one, 4176. 4176, nope. Uh, Gonna be here for a minute, folks. 2619. I think that was that one up there. Yeah, that was that one up there. So 1409. Let's try 1409. That one worked. The locker opens with a click. Inside, you find a note. Alexander, you have seemed less than enthusiastic. Hey, isn't that his nephew? In our education sessions. Please understand that we are not a shelter, we are a factory. A factory that refines the dross of society. People like you into strong, pure warriors for humanity. In the future, see to it that you are on time and well-rested. If you drop the ball again, we're going to have, have a little talk about your future in this organization. Volker Stahl. Dietrich snatches the note out of your hands. I knew it. I knew that Alex wouldn't buy into their bullshit. He reads the note over again, his lips moving with syllables. Come on, boss. He's still here somewhere. There's still time. Oh, we got it. We got it. But, you know, I gotta I gotta finish looting and cavorting 3706. Uh, 3, 7, oh, I said 7, 7, 0, 6, no, okay. Um, 4176, because I know that one didn't do anything. Four, one, seven, six. Yes. All right. Oh, 250 yen. Strewn in a, among a pile of dirty clothes, you find a cred stick. I like it a lot. All right. I'm going to steal from some racist sons of bitches. Uh, 1409. Let's try that one. Uh, 1409. Three seven zero six. That's another one. I don't remember if I did any of these other ones, so we're gonna. Say, nope. Okay, not that one. Um, two one one four. Two one one four. No. Uh, one one zero six. One one zero six. Yes. Okay. The locker opens with a click. Inside, you find a note. Frederick, I am pleased with how well you are doing. To show my growing trust in you, I'm giving you a new assignment in addition to your tra 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 to your trainee duties. Beginning tomorrow, I would uh, like you to tidy the armory. The access code is PURITY. See that you don't forget it. Oh, hell yeah. Tomorrow evening, I will expect to see a full inventory of the weapons in our arsenal by nightfall. With it, you will deliver me a requisition order for the weapon of your choosing. Your pick, my boy. I leave it up to you. Congratulations, Frederick. The honor is well deserved. Volker Stahl. Oh yeah, I can break in the armory. <laughs> okay. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. One one oh six. Didn't I just open one one oh six? I'll try it again. No. Okay. Pop, 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 pop. Which one didn't work yet? Two one one four. I don't think worked yet. Oh, come on. Two, one, one, four. Okay. The logger opens with a click. 
it's empty. Well, screw that guy then. Oh, this is the first one. Okay. So the first one, 4176 maybe? They were probably in numerical order and I just completely derped. No, I guess not. Uh, I already got Alex's. Let's try 1409. I don't remember if that one worked. I know, this is the boring part. I'm so sorry, guys. And girls. 3706. I think that one is the other one. 3706. Oh, yes, it was. Ooh, Nitro had strength and willpower. The locker opens with a click. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright, so at least now we have the armory code, which wasn't pride, it was... Where are you? Purity. Purity. The door slides open with a hiss. Ooh, we got stuff. Oh, why is that there? Why is that there? I don't like that that's there. Why is that there? All right, the turret is powered down. We throw it along. Rack. Oh, please don't turn on me. I don't need that. I want to open that one. Well, let me see what's over here first. Yes. That's fine. I'll have it for later. Sure. Nothing else, at least, so they don't have them. All of them send to the kit. Ooh, shotgun. Sure. If for no other reason, at least to sell. Okay. Okay. Now, <clears throat> moving on. I got all the foot lockers and everything else. I don't like that turret. Uh, let's open these doors just so they're open. Just so they're open. I think it's funny that after those guys hauled ass that I haven't run into anyone yet. Door panel. This has got to be his office. Yep. The Humanist Polycup logo fills the majority of the screen on the panel. A welcome message. It's written in cartoonishly aggressive font. Enter. Uh, appears below. Enter. Door code. Alright. They should be. I think it's a pride. Pride. Yep, the door unlocked with a faint click. Alrighty, game saved. <sighs> nothing, no one, nothing? What's this? Operation False Flag, planning report. Ah! A stocky man in a military surplus jacket enters the room. He is flanked on either side by a pair of young women. Their faces are masked by white kerchiefs. Their faces... I just read that. And each of them carries an unholstered pistol. Lower your weapons, girls. We have a guest. The soldiers exchange glances, then lower their sidearms. They look at you. 
their stares full of hatred and bile. There, that's better. His neutral expression curdles into a malevolent grin. I have shown you hospitality, stranger. Now it's time for you to return the favor. So tell me, why are you here? Uh, let's see, I'm here with the smugglers. We brought your shipment and we're waiting to be paid. Uh, I'm here to shut you down, Stall. Confronting me in a person was a bad move, by the way. I've read your work. I'd like to sign up. Hmm. Well, yeah, I am here with the smugglers. Yeah, there you go. Let's get them paid. Oh, don't you worry. Your friends are already being taken care of. His smile widens. Trust me, they'll get everything that's coming to them. Hey, was that supposed to be scary? Because I'm not impressed. Patient stranger. By the time, by this time tomorrow, you'll be plenty impressed. I guarantee it. All right, whatever you have planned, I'm going to put a stop to it. There's been a lot of cargo moving through here. Planning something big, Volker? He offers you a broad smile. It's going to be glorious. That gas that you hauled in for us, it's going to prove every word that we've been saying. The trogs, the halfers, the goddamn dandelion eaters. One whiff of this stuff, and they're going to tear each other apart. And then they'll spill into the good human neighborhoods, where we'll be waiting to stop them. You just watch and wait, traitor. Stahl gives you a broad grin. It'll be a bloodbath. So you're going to drive a bunch of metahumans crazy in order to prove that metahumans are crazy. You're pathetic, Stahl. Yeah, the only bloodbath tonight is going to happen right here in this room. This is sick. You really think that gassing a bunch of metas is going to make people think that you're a hero? Uh, let's see. Yeah, you really think gassing a bunch of metas is going to make you people think you're a hero? We are heroes. We're protecting our race when nobody else will. Stahl gives you a derisive sneer. I don't expect you to understand. When we bring the word world around to our way of thinking, people like you will be the first up against the wall. Why are you telling me all this? You must know that I'm going to try to stop you. All right, that's it. I'm going to do the world a favor and take you down. I know where you're keeping the gas, Volker. I'm going to put a stop to this. Uh... Yeah, and seriously, why are you telling me this? You don't think I'm going to try to stop you? Oh, well, I was just buying time, waiting for my soldiers to arrive. The sounds of hurried footsteps echo down the hallway behind you. The human S leader smiles, and as luck would have it, here they come now. All right, we found a mission. Dietrich's eyes go wide. He takes a step towards the nearest Humanist gunman. Alexander! The youth blinks in surprise. He, lower, he half lowers his weapon. Uncle Dietrich? Shoot him, Alexander. This man is an intruder and a traitor. Come here to do us harm. If you're going to put a shell in someone, put it in Stahl. He's a monster, Alex. I know that you can see that. The Humanus gunman flanking Stahl exchange uncertain glances. One begins to raise her pistol, but hurriedly, hurriedly lowers it when the Humanus leader steps forward. Stahl fixes Alexander with a stern gaze. You swore an oath to us, Alexander. You will be a man and keep it. I... Let's see. Listen to Diedrich, Alexander. He's a good man. Is he? Where the hell was he when my dad used to beat the shit out of me? Where was he when I got tossed out on the street? Oh boy, I didn't know, Alex. By the time I found out, the damage had already been done. Alexander, you will listen to me and obey your oath. I I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. All right, if you side with Humanus, I'm going to have to kill you. I don't want to, but I will. It's up to you, Alex, but you have to make a choice. If you can't see the Humanus' is bullshit, you don't deserve to live. Wow, that's a bit harsh. Uh, if you side with Humanus, I'm, I'm going to have to kill you. I don't want to, but I will. It's up to you, Alex, but you have to make a choice. If you betray your kind to these meta-lovers, we will put you down, boy. You hear that? We will kill you. Shakily, Alexander raises a rifle, levels it at Dietrich's head. Uncle Dietrich, I... No, I'm not... Mm. Wait for Alexander to react. The rifle... The barrel of the rifle trembles in Alexander's arms. I'm sorry. Dietrich locks eyes with his nephew. His voice is low and solved. Do what you have to do, Alex. It's your choice. Do it, you stupid boy. Do it! Without a word, Alexander wheels around and 
points the rifle at Stahl. The Humanist leader recoils in alarm. Alexander lower, levels the weapon and all hell breaks loose. Who just shot me? That guy shot me. All right. So we got Alex to, to leave them. He's on our side now. And we got a whole bunch of shit going on here right now. All right. Uh, we are not playing around here. So I don't know if I want to leave Stall alive. But I need my hands. I need my hands. All right. Um... I am thinking about giving chase. Because I sure as shit don't want you back there unattended. I'm at least going to take this guy out. Alright. Here you go. Let's haste me. Yes, because you need more hands. Okay. Um... Glory needs to adrenal pump. And, um... We are going to eviscerate... Not him, that's fine. I'm okay over there. I'm pretty sure I'm okay over there. Uh... You're further, and I don't like that. So let's eviscerate you. How did I miss you? How about this one instead? That's what you get. Uh, I'm gonna need to take cover. Alright, I got cover here. Yeah, because I don't want to stay out in the open. I don't know how many guys are gonna be coming out at me here any second, so... Um, couldn't mess with you and get behind the desk, too, next to you, even though that doesn't really give me any cover. There is an item over here. I'm going to go over just so I can get with him, and then I'm going to kill this bastard, if I can. Alright, well, not quite dead, but... All right, and Alex, Alex has a submachine gun. Alex is gonna help us out too. Uh, but Alex, let's use, let's attack this guy. Really? All right, so let me get behind cover of some kind at least. He shot me. And there he goes. I really didn't want him to escape. But he did. I didn't realize I could have killed him, but... Oh well. Uh, I actually didn't want him to live, but apparently he did. We'll have to figure that out for another time. But, that's gonna do it for this one, folks. When we come back, we will put an end to this mission. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm Team Bravo 615. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.